Good morning. Welcome back to Building a House from Trees. This is uh, going to be a pretty short episode, I think. This is just going to be about um, a little bit of, tiny little bit of logging that I've gotten into in the last couple weeks. I took down two or three trees and uh, I've milled a bunch of it, um, uh, three of the pretty good butt logs already, into um, 10 foot long. 1 by 12 in there and that's for the loft floor upstairs which I don't the blade was brand new thank you Uncle Brian I don't even think I'm gonna plane that stuff but this is um, I milled down to 7 8 and so I'm gonna hit that with the um, the planer and this is gonna be flooring for the upstairs that's also gonna be flooring for the upstairs so I'm milling a lot of the flooring for the upstairs I'm milling soffit material for up there out of uh, the the tops big knots I don't really care about up there. I'm gonna run screens and all this stuff, but uh, I'm back to milling a little bit and that's what this video is gonna be, just a little bit of that. So thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, thanks for the really kind comments last week. Um, got some fun stuff coming up in the next couple weeks. Did some cedar shingles, I'll show you a quick glimpse of that. It looks so good in the uh, bathtub surround. My buddy Corey's crushing it with the tile, it looks phenomenal, so. All right, we'll see you out there, thanks. Well, we're getting going on the tile. My uh, my neighbor and good friend Corey um, are starting to lay down the Dietra mat. Well, he is laying down the Dietra mat. He's fastidious and amazing at it. And I uh, can't wait to get the tile going in here and then we can do the cabinets and finish the floors and it'll be moving time. But uh, in the meantime, I'm off to uh, cut down a pine or two, probably two because I've got a little road plowed. I don't have a winch anymore, so I've got a little road plowed down into the lower field where I can drop a pine into it. Um, and I'll take the camera along. I think you might be able to see the very top of one of those pines off in the second field there. Um, so I'm gonna drop a couple of those into my road and tow them up and probably cut them to 16 foot lengths or something of that nature. And then um, I'll uh, be milling them into flooring. So, flooring, um, soffit material, a lot, a lot yet to do. So, more milling to be done. I'll be bringing the mill back soon, and uh, that'll be fun. But I've also got a lot going on here, so busy days. All right, let's go. So, you can sight that right there, that big pine. I'm actually gonna try to just drop right into this road, because um, it's mostly stem. And then maybe that smaller one there or maybe that bigger one there, and the same thing, right back into this road. So, I'll see if I can pull that off. All right, here we go. We'll start with this one. We got a lot of snow now. This is where a four-wheel drive tractor would be handy, but that's all right. This two-wheel drive's a lot cheaper. And turkey tracks and something following it. It, them, turkey lurkies. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, that's what I was going for. Um, it's pretty great. This is a, this is kind of a homeowner's saw. It's, you know, it's not homeowners, but it's small. It's a 445, 16 inch bar. And it doesn't really matter. Um, I've said this many, many times. You don't need a really big saw. You just need the ability to cut a good notch and back cut. And, but the biggest thing is just like a sharp chain. Not like, it's a sharp chain. You can see this is kind of what we were looking for. There's the hinge. I cut into the middle a little bit here and that's totally fine. Only tore out a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's great. All right, let's get this limbed up and try to drag it out of here. It's pretty massive, but a lot of good flooring in there. Holy moly, holy moly. That's a 16 footer and that's a 16 footer. Let's see. I think that'll work. This will know pretty quick. Another successful tree down. Um, I'm really fortunate to have a lot of really good white pine on the property. So um, I think I'm gonna nail out of the butt log here the first 10 feet the um, flooring for the loft, the little meditation cat loft thing. And then uh, the rest I'm gonna mill for the flooring upstairs. So really nice wide pine boards. I can probably get, I don't know, one by 12s, one by 14s out of here. And then out of the top, Two, I've got four logs, four eight-foot logs there. I'm gonna use that for the uh, for the soffit material. So a uh, lot of lot of wood here, and I'm actually gonna go drop one more tree. Um, there's a smaller one there, and while the road's good and everything's firing, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna proceed with that. So oh, what a what a thing! That tractor is just astounding. Um, you know, I don't have the winch, like I said, and I'm, I'm using the um, counterweight with the little hooks on it to get, uh, to, to 
connect my chokers to, then I lift it. So I lift the front of the log up. Gives more weight on the tractor on the rear tires with those ice chains. Even through this heavy, crazy snow, um, that two-wheel drive is 50 horse diesel. So that's that's really good. Unfortunately, it's got a, a fuel pump leak, but I've got the kit on the way. It should be arriving any day. Um, that's going to be, it's got like a thousand parts. It's going to be fun to rebuild that thing. So I'll probably, I'll film that for my own good. But all right. Do you remember in the planes, trains, and automobiles, Steve Martin's character and John Candy's character were riding in the back of a pickup truck. They'd just gotten a ride. There was a mean little farm dog in the back. And uh, Steve Martin's character asked John Candy's character how cold he thinks it is. And with just exactly the perfect pause, John Candy's character says, One. It's one this morning. You can kind of hear that it's one. It's cold. And I love it. But I can tell you where it is not one. It is not one in here. What do we got? 52. Oops. So I soaked the stove with some kind of mostly dry birch and a couple chunks of partially dried old oak uh, last night at eight. And it just smoldered and there was still a couple coals in there this morning and it's just comfortable in here. Um, I would highly recommend, I mean, I'm babbling about this a lot in my videos, and I'm sorry for that, but I would highly recommend a lot of insulation if you build a house. And of course air exchange and all that stuff, but uh, this is incredibly nice. And the, the boiler has used barely any propane. Um, I just checked the consumption figures for last year, for last month, and it's really nice, so. All right.